Two years ago, we brought you a story about a fascinating aspect of the city of Wetumpka. It's a major part of Alabama's history, well, really world history, and it's left a quite literal impact on the city. Today, we have an exciting update to share. Melissa Bowman fills us in. Breaking news about a story millions of years old. Before getting to the latest developments, let's review what happened in Wetumpka, Alabama a long, long time ago. Back uh, approximately 85 million years ago, hence my t-shirt, a, a giant uh, meteor came into this area and it was about the size of a, a college football stadium and it blew a big hole in the earth and it was 175,000 times out of Hiroshima. And it was one of the most catastrophic events that has ever happened in the state of Alabama. The explosion left a five mile wide crater that's rim is still visible today and is the reason for Wetumpka's unusual topography. This is, so far as we know, the best preserved marine impact crater in the world. We've had uh, scientists from, oh gee, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, uh, Pakistan, almost anybody in the world who's interested in impact craters either has been here or will be. While crater enthusiasts know about the impact, most visit this charming city to see where movies like Big Fish were made or where HGTV shot Hometown Takeover. But here's the latest news. There's now a place that tells the whole story. The Hometown TV was great. All the movies that have been here, that was great. But we even have a bigger story to tell. And that's about the crater, what happened to us some 85 million years ago. It, it's still something that's unique, and uh, we're, we're just excited to develop this Discovery Center along with the Visitor Center. The Wetumpka Impact Discovery and Visitor Center offers both tourist information about local attractions, and it finally provides a central location to educate the public about the crater. What you could see when you come to the center is you could see a lot of rock specimens. You would see storyboards that tell the story of exactly what has happened, the whole sequence of events, um, how the topography had changed in this area. You would see a lot of artist depictions of the life that lived during this, this period of time, uh, the dinosaur life. The Discovery Center isn't the only new crater attraction. Just across the street are several murals that tell the story of the blast by mixing science with art. Through art, um, people are able to express ideas and uh, they're able to communicate those ideas very, very well. So I, I think uh, art was a, a great medium to, uh, to make it simple and, and kind of uh, engaging. The murals and the center are a dream come true for the Wetumpka Impact Crater Commission, city leaders and community volunteers. They hope these resources will help people better understand the crater and inspire them to explore it. If I sound like I'm excited about this, I am, because it was a long time getting there, within 20 some odd years getting there. And um, there have been people who come here and have gone, you know, but now we've got what we need to tell this story. From the city that's always a blast to visit, I'm Melissa Bowman for Simply Southern. It's impressive how many people came together to make the center a reality. In particular, the Wetumpka Impact Crater Commission wanted to recognize local artist Hope Brannon. She created the artwork for the murals, among other contributions. They're also grateful to Dr. David King, whose work 20 years ago proved the crater's presence. Now the new center is open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thursday through Saturday. They can provide you with directions to educational viewpoint signs. The Wetumpka Impact Crater Commission also offers a guided tour annually in late February or early March. To learn more, visit WetumpkaImpactCraterCommission.org. Now you might not expect to find a big longhorn steer just steps from the state capitol, but for nearly 30 years, Dusty and the Alabama Cattlemen's Association have been teaching folks about the state's beef industry. When Simply Southern continues, come along on a visit to the museum. What you doing? Just saving Kevin some money by bundling his home in auto coverage. Nice. I wonder what Kevin's doing.
your thing. We've got you covered. I'm Heath Clary from Greensboro, Alabama. I'm proud to be the Alabama Catfish Farmer of the Year. I've been raising catfish for nine years and I've been eating it longer than that. From fish fries to taco night, I've tried just about every recipe and they're all great. Because no matter how you cook it, U.S. farm raised catfish is always going to be fresh, clean, and mild. I make sure of that. Find the recipes and restaurants at uscatfish.com. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. Hey y'all, I'm Kim Earwood with Alabama Ag in the Classroom. It's time for a brand new segment, Miss Kim's Book Corner. This week's accurate ag book is called I Love Strawberries, written by Shannon Anderson with pictures by Jacqueline Sinquette. Jolie loves writing in her journal, but she loves strawberries even more. She wants to grow them herself, but her mom doesn't think Jolie is ready for the responsibility. Bummer. Can Jolie's hard work persuade her parents to change their minds? You'll have to read the book to find out. I Love Strawberries also has an educator's guide with eight classroom activities related to the book. To find more accurate ag books, go online to agfoundation.org. Miss Kim's Book Corner is brought to you by Alabama Ag in the Classroom. See you next time.